But now would probably be a good time for you to tell me what the hell happened between you and Adam. Last thing I wanted to do is go along with Adam. But you did. And I thought we were past this. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry he's not working for me right now. We both know who Adam is, what he's capable of doing. And this whole fiasco is just one more case in point. But it seems like every time I turn around, you're right there by his side. You're right there with I him. I was not right there with him, Tad. I walked in on a situation I had no control over, and all I wanted to do was... All I wanted to do was help Colby. How's that working for you? You don't know how hard I tried begged adam to go to the police i knew how much this was going to be crushing colby all these conversations did you ever stop to think you could have one with me that could you that you could talk to your husband ted you have every right to be angry Honey, with me. i don't know that i'm angry okay i don't know what i am the only thing i do know is that every single time adam spins another lie the first people to get hurt are his children sky Haley, jr colby all of them and you and I built this marriage, we built this home on the idea that we could protect our family. And whether Adam likes it or not, J.R. and Colby are our family. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, he doesn't love his kids. I'm just saying it's our job to protect them because he does love them. Together, I thought we could do that. Was I wrong? I could have fixed this in the beginning. How? By pushing concrete and scaffolding over on her? No. If you would have clued me in a long time ago. <laughs> you were just too busy trying to steal my company. You were talking to Ghost. All right, and that's enough. Let's, uh, let's put that behind us. For now. Yeah. Colby is what's important. Colby's what matters. Yeah, absolutely. She can still face charges. Uh, 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 two underage drinking. Who go? God knows what else. Will you help me work together? To, to make her feel loved yeah, Dad, and it's safe. It's a little hard to do that in a war zone. We can end that. Is this a move? Using Colby to get me to back down, then you pull out the knives? You're already down, son. The board has sided with me. You see, this, you and me going head to head, that's a problem. Yeah. Because Colby, it's killing her. All right, we have to stop fighting. We're together, we've always been stronger that way. You and me, both for our family and for the business. While it lasts. If we keep fighting, we can lose everything. And I will not lose Colby. Would you help me? Because I can't lose you either. Jackson, thank you for coming. You've chosen well. Dre is in wonderful hands. My son is determined to take this all the way. He wants to protect his friends. I'll make sure he's protected. I appreciate that. Counselor. Chief. Congratulations, I might add. Thank you, Dax. Listen, uh, somebody filled me in on the phone. I understand Adam Chandler was arrested with my client? Yeah, the only pleasant part of this long, treacherous day. I'll get you the arrest file. Huh? Bring you up the speed? Yeah. Trey's not this way. Excuse me. I'll be right there, guys. Erica, this is not how I plan to see you again. But it, it's really good to see you again. And it means a lot. Oh, Erica, there she is. Mr. Woods, will your son be charged with murder? Were you aware of the crime? Does this mean your political career is over? Pull out of the Senate race. Have you used your office to protect your son? This is a very difficult time for the U.S. attorney. Please give him his privacy. And you know what, Erica, thank you. I would love to answer all your questions, okay? And I will do it once I have all the facts. Well, is it true that alcohol was involved and minors? What happened was an accident. My son took responsibility. We hear a lot about um, family values and a family coming first. And sometimes we lose sight of that. And uh, today my son reminded me how proud I am to be his father. And I'll stand by him, no matter what the consequences are to me, politically. Okay? Thank you. Mr. Mr. Woods, 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 Woods,
Can we get a statement from your side? Please, five more minutes. Ms. Kane, Mr. Woods, one more question. What effect does this have on your dating, Mr. Woods? Oh, this is really not the time or the place for gossip. You know better than that, Dawn. Uh, Miss Kane, can you give us something, please? I am here to support Samuel Woods and his son. Even though Mr. Woods put you in prison. I deserved my prison sentence, but I'm sure the facts will show his son does not. Thank you. Uh, Miss Kane, Thank please, you. one more question. You heard the lady. Thank you. And if that's not clear enough, how's get the hell out of here? Even when Crystal told us that Richie had been mowed down by a hit-and-run driver, I, um, I still didn't want to believe it. Dre, when did you know for sure that you'd hit no back? Pete Cortland told us about the blood on the bottom of the bumper on Kobe's car. He tested it. It was human. I mean, that's that's when we knew that I hit Novak. You said the blood was on the bumper of the car. That makes it sound like maybe Novak was already down when you hit him. We can use that. Yeah, we will. I wish I had that bumper, though. The whole damn car, actually. I mean, that kind of evidence would go a long way to confirming that Novak was already on the pavement and presumably dead before you struck him with the car. I'll help you, Dad. We'll get Colby back on track. Thank you, sir. It wasn't so long ago that we were on opposite sides of these... What are you doing here? How could you let this happen? I was trying to protect my daughter. Yeah. And as usual, you made it worse. What a surprise. And what about Carmen? <laughs> what the devil does she have to do with this? You arrested? You have completely jeopardized the terms of Carmen's bail. There's no way I'm going to let her go back to prison until her trial just because you were short-sighted enough to lie to the police and get caught. Your concern for me is very touching. Fix this, Adam. Remember what I told you. Behavior gets you in, and behavior gets you out. Tad, by the time... Adam told me he had destroyed the car. The lie was already in play. So it was easier just to go along with it? It was not easy, Tad. This was very, very complicated. Complicated? Honey, Colby was in trouble. She needed your help. I What's so complicated begged about Adam. getting I stuff begged up and her. do the right thing? I begged Adam to go to the police, Tad. I told him it was going to get worse, and he would not listen to Why me. Why should he? He's got no need. He knows you've got his back. The minute you decided to lie to Jesse, that car was stolen, and Adam knew he could count on you. That is not what I wanted. It was not what I intended, and I saw. Trust me, I saw how this was tearing Colby up. Yeah, and not one more to me. Me. I love her every bit as much as you do. Did you really think that I could make the situation worse? Dad, I'm sorry, but I thought I was going to be able to talk her down myself. I told her I would go to the police with her. It was her decision. Come on, I wasn't going to turn her in. And she just wasn't ready. And, and I understood. And I just told her that I would be there for her no matter what. Her decision. Honey, she's a teenager. She was scared to I know. death. Look, the, you held her hand and you did nothing. And you did nothing because that's what Adam wanted you to do. I thought that I could make this work. Well, when, while you were busy trying to make it work, you looked me, your husband, in the face, and you lied every never, single no, day. I did not. I did not lie to you, Tad. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> but I don't want to go through life wondering what you're not telling me. There's no reason that I should. Honey, if this is the way it's going to be, there's no way this marriage can work. So, Knuckles Marinara, how's the hand? Good as new. Mm. My brother called from the police station, told me about Cass and Colby and Dre Woods. I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. I can't believe Cass would keep something like that from me. I'm going to head home and hope she'll talk to me about it. It's being a good brother. Yeah, well, if I was such a good brother, she would have trusted me first and confided in me. I only hope she'll 
Let me help her. Okay, so you've been a good brother now.